what is a permutation? So here is the symbols that we represent for permutation. Sometimes you'll see it as P parenthesis N comma R. Uh, sometimes you'll see it as N PR. So those are the two ways to represent it. We're not going to talk about the equation just yet. It'd be better to wrap your mind around a permutation and what type of problems these deal with. So here's a problem that I want you to try to solve, but go ahead and hit pause. If you've never done permutation before, hit pause and uh, try to solve this ahead of me. So we want to choose a president and a vice president from three people. How many ways can we do that? Now first off, what, I, what you can do with this problem, I started out pretty easy, is we can list out the sample space. So if I had three people, we called one A, one B, and one C, then we could make a, we could list them all out quickly. So in this case, we know that A and B are, uh, are could be a possible, so A could be president, B could be vice president, or you could go B, A, because B could be president, A could be vice president. Those two are different situations. You could go AC or CA, and you could go BC or CB. And this is all of the possible combinations for choosing a president and vice president from three people. So we have six possible ways this could turn out. How I like to think of this is we're going to choose two slots to fill one for the president, one for the vice president. So if we have three people, we could pick three people here for president. Well, then we've chosen the president, so now there's only two left for vice president. And so we can use the fundamental counting principle then to uh, just multiply those, and we'd end up with six. And this is also a permutation. So, so that's kind of a simple example. So try it with a slightly harder one. We want to choose a president, vice president, and secretary from a group of 10 people. In how many ways can this be done? So now we've got three people, but we have 10 to choose from. So again, hit the pause button. Try to solve this thing ahead of me. Get your brain working on this. If your brain works on this ahead of me showing it to you, you'll get more out of the video. And so we go ahead and like I say I like to do the slots there's three slots to fill this is the presidential slot uh, this is the vice presidential slot and this is the secretary slot so there's ten that could go for president then nine that could go for vice president and eight that could go for secretary so your permutation in this case is 10 times 9 times 8 or 90 times 8 which is 720. Now let's take a look at the formula for this thing. So the formula for this thing is pretty pretty neat looking. So I like to write it like this so n then a capital P then a subscripted R. Uh, it stands for this so you'd have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So that's the formula. So let's go ahead and plug it in to the 10 choose 3. So, so in the last problem, really quick, I'll go back to it. Uh, we got 720 for an answer. Uh, so this is 10 people, and we're going to choose 3 of those 10. So it would look like this. It would be 10 choosing three and so if you did this it would be 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial I, I'll show all my work so 10 factorial is t if you know anything about factorials it's multiplication 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got them all. Divided by 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial. So that would be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
And what's cool about this is 7 divided by 7 is 1. That cancels out. 6 divided by 6, 5 divided by 5. So all these at the end cross out and you're left with, or simplify out, 10 times 9 times 8, which is what we had, 720. So that's the formula. Again, I think it's better to understand it ahead of time uh, rather than just plug into the formula right away. I think the, that you can do this without the formula most of the time and you'll get a better understanding. Because when you get to combination, then we have to worry about counting things twice. So then the other thing you can do is calculators. They all have this menu. Here's a TI uh, Inspire. And so if it, I pulled up a calculator screen. I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go to probability. There's the factorial button, but we want permutation. There it is. And it's asking you for, it says NPR, kind of like what I have. And it's asking you to put plug in those numbers. So 10 choose 3. Hit enter and it gives it to you immediately 720. So that's nice. Um, if you don't have a nice $100, $200 calculator this is Web 2.0. It has the same button right there it is NPR and there's the factorial button right beside it. So let's just hit it and see what it does. Oh, I need to clear that out because I had a number up there before. So NPR, and it's the same as the TI Inspire. So you'd hit 10, and then comma, and then uh, 3, right? Yeah, 10 comma 3, close it. What's nice about this is it even gives you the formula up above. Hit equals, and it's 720. So that's perm permutation. In the next video, I'm going to show you combination. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, like I say, if you're just learning this for the first time, better to just try and solve these with the bends like I did and get some understanding first before you just start using calculators and plugging it into formulas because that will make combinations that much easier. See you next time.